Well, hey there, and welcome back to another episode of American Reacts. We're back in Australia, and we're looking at 50 things that are only possible in Australia. That is uh, kind of a bizarre title. This is from Brightside. Big, big channel. Yeah, the Australia videos have been going well. I'm loving it. I'm loving interacting with you guys and always learning so much about this uh, beautiful country down under. And uh, this thing hopefully will teach us a lot more. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the video. Let's go. Okay, it's pop quiz time. Which country has the longest fence in the world? How about the second largest Greek population? I don't know. Um, three times more sheep than people? Okay. Gee, I'm not sure. One word will give it away. Kangaroos. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about the <laughs> land down under. Of course so you are. what do Let's you go. know about Australia? So know a little start bit. with a name. Know a little Australia bit. comes from the Latin word Australis, which means southern. Way back okay. in the second century, there were legends of a mysterious Terra Australis incognita, or unknown southern land. Well, Interesting. now it's very known. So, let's get to know more about it. Despite Less. the stereotypes of hot, sunny weather year-round, the Australian Alps, which are the highest mountain range in the country, get more snow than the Swiss Alps do. Now, I would have <laughs> never guessed that. The That's world's pretty interesting. Wow. The national highway is in Australia. Dang. That's uh, pretty interesting if that's true. When I think of Australia, I just don't think of uh, snow at all. <laughs> and from what I've heard from the awesome people commenting on my videos lately is is that snow is not too common. Grab so. your skis. But it is the mountains, right? The world's right? longest national highway is in Australia. It That's stretches pretty cool. for over 9,000 miles. Wow. For comparison, the Earth's diameter is about 7,900 miles. Wow, how's that it's work? It's actually a network of highways that connects all capitals of the mainland wow, states. Wow, okay. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the That's Great incredible, Wall of China. actually. But what about the Great Fence of Australia? <laughs> okay, that's not no, what it's I haven't called, heard of but that. still, the dingo fence in southeast nice. Australia the dingo stretches fence. for nearly 3,500 miles. For comparison, it would easily cover the entire span of the U.S. From now, that's not a fence I would want to erect. I don't know about you. <laughs> that is long. And look at that. That goes from L.A. to the from East Los Coast. Angeles to Houghton, Maine. Jeez. Now, it might not be so surprising that's to know insanity. that Australia is huge. It's about the same size as the continental U.S. Okay. About 2,500 miles wide. Very similar in size the to the U.S. That's interesting. The distance from the west to east coast is further than Barcelona to Moscow. In all, wow. Australia is the world's sixth largest country and the only one that's also a whole continent. That's right. But I did know that. with that territory, over 80% of Australians live within 60 miles of the coast. That is so insane. This I've makes heard the that as well. one of the most coastal dwelling I populations mean, in the world. It, it is bizarre because uh, a lot of countries don't know are like that, you know. Like even in the U.S., there's a lot more people here. But a lot of people are, are on the eastern half of the U.S. And, and a lot of them are on the coast. But in Australia, it is interesting, right? Like 80% and, and they're right by the coast. I mean, you can't blame them. I mean, it's great weather. You got beaches and the ocean. I mean, yeah, who wouldn't want to live on the coast with that much coastline? They have a lot more coastline than, you know, the U.S. does, that's for sure. And that means a whole lot of beaches. In fact, Hell they have yeah. so many that if you decided to visit a new beach every day, it would take you almost 30 years to see wow, them. Wow, that is insane. The biggest property in Australia is about 40... 30 years to see the beach? Wait, no, 30 years to see every single beach there if you went every day? That's mind-blowing, first of all. And... Yeah, I'll take up that challenge. Sign me up. <laughs> Who doesn't like the beach? I mean, seeing that many different beaches, wow. That is one major thing like Australia's got really going for it that most countries just can't compare to. It's like, wow, beaches galore. That's really neat, really neat. Thousand square miles in area. That's South a big Korea property. Could fit into it with room to spare. <laughs> That's pretty trippy. The country's a property bigger than another country as well. Their mounds are the tallest animal-made structures Ooh, on this wow. planet. Before humans That's, arrived, uh, rather bizarre, the continent huh? was home to megafauna. If you lived there about 46,000 years ago, you'd be dead today. <laughs> long but gone you dead. You would have seen 10-foot <laughs> tall kangaroos, 23-foot long no lizards, and ducks the size of an adult horse. 
quack quack. The no, largest living I don't structure believe that. on the planet is the Australian I don't believe the Great duck Barrier one. Reef. By the way, Great Barrier it has Reef its is, own mailbox, is epic. And there's a rumor that the fish there use eel mail. Yeah. <laughs> Neither kangaroos nor Look at this guy in his jokes, backward. man. That's a fact. And that's Look why they're painted on jokes. the Australian coat of arms. That's cool. Keep moving forward. Emus the platypus, and kangaroos. an egg-laying mammal that lives only in Australia, is one of the rare venomous mammals on this planet. Luckily, venomous. while the venom has an excruciatingly painful effect on people, it's not lethal. The takeaway? Don't fuss with a platypus. A platypus is venomous? That is something I did not know. Wow. I guess just a lot of stuff in Australia is venomous. <laughs> just, By the way, when just the first platypus have that was assumption. brought to England, people there were sure that it was a joke. The English believed that Australians had sewn a duck's bill onto a rat's body to play a trick on them. Oh my yeah, god. Right up until he bit them. Not laughing now, are you? Oh, geez. Swimming in the surf wow. during the day had been illegal in Australia up until 1902. Well, that'd be but lame. After one guy calmly entered the waves of Manly Beach one afternoon that year. Surf bathing became increasingly popular. The largest Greek I population imagine. outside of Greece itself is in Australia. That's pretty Actually, interesting. Actually, to be more precise, in Melbourne. More Melbourne. than 160,000 people who live there say they come from Greek descent. That's very, Melbourne was very the cool. richest city in the world Melbourne. in 1880. These days, wow. Tokyo, Japan holds this title. Richest city in the world uh, just over 100 years ago, 140-ish. That is very intriguing as well. I would have not have guessed that, but I wouldn't have guessed that based on, on no knowledge. That's very interesting, right? I've heard that uh, Melbourne is a very popular city, very livable city. So I guess, yeah, I guess they would have a... A lot of money floating around, a lot of success. That's really cool. Uh, it's interesting to see Tokyo's number one. Very interesting. And until 2018, Melbourne had been rated as the most livable city in the see? world for seven That's years right. in a row. That's right. I've heard that but before. Seven years in a row is amazing. Down to second place after Vienna, Austria. Come on, okay. Melbourne, get back in the game. Back in the one game. Uh, hey, they're second place. I think they're Batman. still in the game. Yep, that was his real name. <laughs> and get this: the city was temporarily Batman. called That's funny. Batmania. Too bad they decided no to change it to Robinville. Nah. Wow. In 2018, this guy and his Australia jokes, man. ranked third Jeez. after Norway and Switzerland on the Human Development Index. This index is based on education, life expectancy, and citizens' income. Wow. Basically, they got a good thing going down under there. Yeah, they do. In 2005, Dang. security go third on on a lot. They're they're really top ranked on a lot of different things. Uh, as in the country and certain cities within it. Very impressive. But I've been very impressed in the last couple of weeks with uh, learning about uh, a lot and just honestly scratching the surface about Australia. It's been really fun and it's a fascinating place. I've always kind of liked it, though knowing not much about it, just from the minuscule amount I've known e as a youngster, you know, it, it seems like a fascinating place. So the fact that they also have a lot of great things going for them. I mean, what's not to like? Guards at the Parliament House in Canberra were prohibited from calling Canberra. people mate. This guy's but pronunciations are pretty bad. For a day Even mate. I know that. Good day. If you're ever in Western Australia, you can what visit one of their many super salty pink lakes. Oh, I heard about those too. From a certain type of algae and bacteria. Wow. And they're totally safe to swim in. Look at that. Just be careful what you chew. Oh, That's radical, man. be sure man. to take a selfie while you're swimming in what looks like a giant pool of Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> you can thank Australia for coming up with the word selfie in the no first place. No way, place. really? There are about 74 million sh I mean, that kind of makes sense. They put E on a lot of stuff, you know, Bobby, selfie, footy, you know, they, they kind of like that. So I guess that makes sense. Peep to 25 million people in Australia, which makes Jeez. an impressive ratio of 3 to 1. Only China and India have more than that. Oh, That's and the kangaroo thing is totally true. There are twice as many kangaroos those. as there are people there. That's 50 to Jeez. 25 million. Speaking of which, when a... Now, kangaroos are crazy. I'll say this every time I see them in a video. They are mind-blowing to me. They're so bizarre. Obviously, I know nothing about them and have never seen one being in America because they're only in Australia. And it's so cool. They're they're cool to me, but they're they're kind of goofy too, and they're kind of creepy almost. Like some of them 
act really wild and and look really strong but uh 50 million so double the population of humans i've heard it's even more i've heard some people say there's 100 million i don't know but wallabies are hilarious kangaroos are hilarious i think they're funny a baby kangaroo is born it's only half an inch long it's wow. also hairless and totally pink kind of looks like a gummy bear <laughs> what else is there in australia oh that's right koalas yeah and, and to top that there are 10 times more camels than koalas australia is the source of there's a lot that many of the camels? middle east camels i have heard there's now, they Western source australia, the middle east for camels i didn't know there's that many to though be in possession of more than 110 pounds of potatoes really well, Every country has its obscure, bizarre laws. Yeah, that's true. The architect of the world-famous Sydney Opera House got the idea of this unique construction while munching on an orange. If you combine all the sails of the building's roof, you'll get a perfect sphere. The oh, most really? ancient fossils in the world were that's found cool. in Australia. They were no less than 3.4 billion years old, even Jeez. older than my leftovers in the fridge. There this are guy, so many man. different this species in this country ridiculous. that only 25% <laughs> of them have been discovered so far. Jeez, that's Of the animals nuts. discovered to be native to Australia, none have hooves. Wow, what is that miraculously about? miraculously turns into Hungry Jacks as soon as you land in Australia. Hungry Jacks? Really? It's the okay. Aussie franchise of the famous fast food chain. Well, that's Australia interesting. Australia is a unique continent that doesn't house any active volcanoes. It's also the... Yeah, do you guys have... Okay, so Burger King is Hungry Jack's. Do you guys have McDonald's? I would I would think McDonald's is everywhere. So you guys probably have McDonald's. Uh, what else? Do you guys have Taco Bell? You know, Taco John's, stuff like that. Do you have Jack in the Box, Hardee's, stuff like that? I'd be interested to find that out for sure. Flattest continent on our planet. But it's got plenty of what? mountains. And one of them... It's also the flattest continent on our planet. Really? The flattest? But it's got plenty of mountains. Yeah. And one of them is called Mount Disappointment. It's just <laughs> 2,600 feet tall. And naturally, explorers wow. William Hovell and Hamilton Hume expected to see a great view from the top. However, after climbing the mountain, they discovered that there were too many trees growing on top and blocking the view completely. Oh, Guess man. Guess how the men felt. Uh-huh. That's too bad. Australia has tons of unique flora and fauna species. <laughs> that is interesting, flattest continent. Wow, because a lot of clips I've seen learning about the country the last couple of weeks, been a lot of rolling hills and, and mountains, but, you know, I don't know. It just depends, I guess. ...that you won't find anywhere else in the world. Among those are a staggering 1,500 spider species. Spider species, Ooh. yeah. On the bright That's side, a lot. and we are. Well, some <laughs> of them are fatally poisonous. Most are completely harmless. Yeah, but how do I tell them apart? Oh, the poisonous ones wear signs. Got it. It's also where you'll hmm. find 21 of the world's top 25 most venomous snakes. More than 90% of Australia Jeez. is covered with some kind of vegetation. Since 1988, okay. Australia has had a national floral emblem, and it's the golden wattle. When this plant blooms, it gets covered with the country's That's national pretty neat. colors, green and gold. That's pretty Australia neat. Australia like is that. a multinational country with more than 200 different languages and dialects spoken there. The most wow, popular non-English languages are Mandarin, Greek, Arabic, Vietnamese, and Cantonese. Very there cool. There are 19 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Australia, including 12 natural sites, 3 cultural sites, and 4 mixed sites. Wow. The difference between Australia's total length and its width is only 200 miles. Wow. That's hey, do you have an too. eight hour working day? You can thank Australian stonemasons for that. In 1865, what? they demanded to make eight hour shifts the standard, and it spread throughout the world from there. No way. I would have never guessed mile, that. Australia has an extremely low population density. For yeah. comparison, there are about 93 people per square mile in the U.S. Wow. The National That's Australian a lot Airline, Qantas, uses recycled cooking oil to power its interstate flights. So, have I missed any cool wow. facts about Australia? That's bizarre as well. Let me know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then That's about give this it, video then. a like and share it with a friend. So, uh, yeah, that's it for that one. That had a lot of interesting facts. I felt like it went quick. I don't know. If, was that 50 things? <laughs> 
I don't know if that was, but uh, we'll go ahead and throw a thumbs up on there. Yeah, Australia, man, is, is just a bizarre place in a good way. It's very unique, in my opinion, uh, in such a big and diverse world we have. You know, Australia tends to have its own identity very well. Uh, I feel like a lot of people around the world know Australia. It's it's easy to find on a map. It's It's got its own kind of um, flair on everything, right? So, uh, yeah, it, it's very interesting. I always find it intriguing, and I, I really do enjoy learning about it. I just can't wait to visit someday. Definitely, definitely, definitely got to visit. I want to see the Outback. I want to see the Red Rocks. I want to see some of the crazy animals. Not too crazy, uh, maybe from a distance. <laughs> and then, but, uh, yeah, I would love to see a koala. would love to see a kangaroo. And, of course, I would love to see the beautiful coastline. want to try some food there, the beaches. I'd love to see Tasmania. Tasmania in itself seems really, really, really intriguing. So yeah, folks, I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself. Leave a comment down below about what you thought of these and your experience in Australia. Any facts or tips you would like to tell me, I'd appreciate it. Subscribe for more stuff like this and uh, expect a lot more videos to come. As always, my name is Ian. You're watching NW Rocker and uh, I'll catch you later.